Hello Magic Community, T1 Glistener Elf here. I just finished playing my game, but one of my teammates is still in, so this is their game 3. Uh, my teammate is Exile2127, and as you can see, they're on Storm. So this is, uh, this is fun. We're looking at double steam vents here, along with Opt, Desperate Writ, Hello, Manamorphos, Past in Flames. Time to win 3 in a row. Yeah, there we go. Whew. All right, and the uh, uh, his opponent, I say his, I think he, uh, opponent is either Lori or Iori. And, uh, well, Spire Bluff Canal, that's, that's neat. The joy of something like this, I suppose. All right, so we are able to see, we the spectators are able to see, they are not able to see their hands. So uh, we're looking at Metamorphos, uh, Thought Scour, Steam Vents, uh, Mountain, Surgical Extraction, another Thought Scour, and another Spire Bluff. So that's a land heavy hand. But we see double Thought Scour, so anything can. Double Thought Scour, Surgical, and a Manamorphos. So they could just find them naturally, to be fair. Alright, so good old Serum Visions is going to be working its magic. And while that's resolving, uh, time for tea. Some Earl Grey. Something. Dark for tea, anyway, but I could use the caffeine. Stay awake a little bit. We see, I believe, an end of turn Thought Scour. So they're not going to go on the Manamorphose Thought Scour, Thought Scour plan. I mean, they don't have to. They really don't. They have Surgical, so they have their third no matter what. So it's fair to do this, to try to get an idea, a read for when you want to try to go off, to get as many Phoenixes as possible. So, let's see. Now, that said, right now, we're looking at a grand total of zero phoenixes. That is, that is, ugh. That's the inside of a dragon's mouth, I believe? No, no, that's on top of the dragon. Whatever, it's ugly. <laughs> you can get custom altars in this, uh, in this program. So we're seeing, uh, Serum Visions. I'm gonna go into... Unsubstantiate. I like it. That makes sense. Okay, now I don't have access to either player's deck list. They are available, but I don't have them pulled up because the third game was just about to start, and um, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, YouTube. So, so we're seeing the Painland, the Is It Painland, Shiv and Reef. We're seeing another end of turn Thought Scour targeting himself, Iori. And we're gonna, I'm gonna say herself. I, I don't know who you are, and I see a female profile picture. Why not? Doesn't matter. Yeah, this is on YouTube. Uh, and it also could be Lori. I don't know if that's a lowercase L or a capital I. So, whatever, she. Uh, versus Exile. I want to say Exile. Like, that's a weird way to spell something that's meant to be pronounced Exile. I have no idea, though. Okay, so here we're looking at a Serum Visions. Why do you do this? <laughs> okay, why do you use these custom arts like this? You're messing me up, you're throwing me off. This looks like a Mishra's factory to me. <laughs> that may just be the vintage player in me though. Alright, so we see a few more. We see a bolt. Yep, that's a lightning bolt. That one's a cool art. I'll give it that. Alright. So as soon as they find any, and right now they have a grand total of zilch, then they'll be okay. Eventually they can get to the point where they can just flashback Faithless Looting, not to actually cast, well, I don't know, they have enough lands, they could eventually get into flashback Faithless Looting and still cast two other spells. <laughs> that is possible. Uh, say something like a uh, Manamorphose first into flashback Faithless Looting. If you find any, you have a Surgical to go off right then. But you can save the Surgical because it's a Storm deck, and uh, there is this handy little card called Past in Flames, which we can no longer see anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm playing with asymmetric information here. That is a Spell Pierce. That is a neat Spell Pierce. Shoutouts to... I guess this is a self-plug. I have a, a format called Prized, and it lets you play with a selection of cards that are from the vault, masterpieces, spell books, and I think there's only one addition to what I just mentioned. 
which is uh, Ugin's Fate, the Ugin's Fate Pax, which is close enough to being a masterpiece style. Uh, it doesn't include like modern masters, eternal masters, that sort of thing. Uh, Spell Pierce, by virtue of being an invocation, is in here. Ta-da! All right, there we go. What you got, opponent? What you got? I say opponent. <laughs> You're not on my team, so you are my opponent. All right. You know, just to make sure that we have this information, I'll just leave that up. You can take a look at that whenever you feel like it. It only slightly messes the field up a little bit, scrunches it, just, eh, okay, we'll take it down. I see a Faithless Looting flashback. I mean, we're doing it, we have to do it. And there's an Unsubstantiate. As you do, unsubstantiate your flashback, uh, return it to its owner's hand. I think they know how this gets resolved, I think. So the way that Reman would, oh, and, uh, okay, exiles it. Flashback exiles it, yeah. Okay, so this is the way that Reman worked back when Splinter Twin was around. If you used Remand on a card with flashback as it was being flashback, it didn't go back to their hand, it was just exiled. Um, that's just how it works. I used to remember the exact reason and the rules for that. Unfortunately, it's been so long since I've had to deal with that that I don't anymore. Remand does still see play, but there is a long gap between Splinter Twin and Brawl Storm when you, you really didn't see Remand. It was, a, it was a tempo card, but it was kind of a slow tempo card. Alright, so there's one of our... Okay, that's quite the, that's quite the text box. But there's, there's one of our Arclight Phoenixes. Is it charm? Interesting. Uh, the spell pierce mode on it seems perfectly legit. They might also be able to do it just as a way to get Arclight into the yard. But since they have another uh, faithless looting in the yard to flashback, I don't think there's really a need for that. You can hold it up to counter like a past in flames, for instance. And well, we are on our way. We are well on our way. In the meantime, looking at the at my, my player's yard, we see double vision, double opt, and an unsubstantiate. So right now, we're not ready to go off yet. Um, and I'm tempted to ask Exile if they will reveal their hand to spectators again. Um, Exile, could you please reveal your hand to spectators? again. You can do that, right? Is that a thing you're able to do? I think so. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't ask for that. Because... Well, I don't think this is being streamed or anything. Okay. Just to me. Good, good. Okay, so we have our information again. We see, oh, <laughs> Gifts ungiven. We see uh, one of the rituals. This is uh, Pyretic. Uh, desperate, sorry. Oh my goodness. The Arcane one. Double Metamorphose Past in Flames. There you go. Merci. Alright. Have some tea. So, my concern there was, if this were a feature match, then they could stream snipe the other one. Um, however, I, it's not a feature match. I'm recording it, but they're not. This isn't up right now. This is that is to say, this is not being streamed. They can't watch this yet. They'll see it after the fact. Never. Okay. Okay. So that's spell pierce. Opt. Ooh, here's our pile. Unsubstantiate, Spell Pierce, Opt, P Pieces of the Puzzle. Well, that's interesting. Reveal the top five, two instances of sorceries go in the hand, the rest go in the yard. So if you find more than two instances of sorceries, they go in the yard. I wonder what kind of a deck would like that. Maybe. Uh, in the meantime, ooh, yeah, this is, a, this is a tricky decision. This is not necessarily all that easy. Opt and Pierce are the ones that are going in the yard. Uh, that that kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah. So when you 
Resolve gifts are given, the opponent chooses which ones go to yard. However, the opponent, Lori, did not get that quite right, so... I'm sorry if that's Iori. I'm gonna say Lori. It looks like Lori. It's Iori, isn't it? Whatever. Okay. But, in this case, uh, the opponent was meaning to hand, rather than to the yard. Resolves. Think Jin. I like Think Jin. That's, uh, not my favorite. Okay, okay. While I'm here, let me check just to make sure. I might be able to find out how it's spelled, to find out how to pronounce it. It probably doesn't really matter, no one cares, but, you know, just making sure, making sure. I can, so I might as well. Oh my goodness. It's not cooperating with me over here. Why are you not? Oh my goodness. My computer hates me. As you do, you know, as you do. Let's see. It's Eori. Okay, cool. Eori. Now I know. No one's at the battle, G.I. Joe, yada yada yada. Okay. Iori is thinking. Hmm. My, my thinking pose is going to be the chewed at pose. Yes! Alright. Yes! <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm wearing half a shirt watching a game of magic. I am having fun. Alright, so we see Manamorphos. Cool. In main phase one, so gee, I wonder what we're gonna try to do. Uh, by the way, the price check, we have one arc light right now. Wonder if that's going to change. Maybe. We see double spell pierce in hand, so uh opt. No response. Cool. Cool. Has revealed the top card. Da 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 da. Okie dokie. See. All right, what you got? It's a land. Okay. Yeah. So it was a. Uh, it appeared to be a land that they kept. Oh no! Wait a minute. It's the spell pierce because that has the eye icon for revealed. Okay. Resolves making. Is it mana? Yeah, um, hmm, now you have Spell Pierce, and you have one mana open, not knowing that there's double Spell Pierce on the other side. That said, that's still going to take them off of, they're, they're basically trading a card in hand for one mana, because instead of paying two mana for Spell Pierce, they pay one mana for sp Spell Pierce, <laughs> their own Spell Pierce. Ooh, and there's a Crackling Drake, play around that graveyard hate, I guess. Yeah, the joy of Crackling Drake. Also, this is uh, quite the altar as well. It still has that poor dove getting carried away. There's lightning coming out of its mouth. That's horrifying. It's cool. It's, it's cool. I, I don't believe that this would be a legal pro uh, altar, though, because the lightning bolt on the left side is covering, even if it's only somewhat, it is covering the text, so I don't believe that this would be allowed. That said, it's cool. It's cool looking. Give it that. Alright. Yeah, so, um, what do we have? Serum Visions was, has resolved. Combat. Trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Now this is, this is interesting to me. I... Hmm. It is correct to hold the spell pierce back, especially when you're only dealing with the potential for one arc light. Um, if the last spell in the sequence happened to be a faithful suiting, I can see firing it off early, but you are set to combo off on the next turn. Uh, you can play the first two uh, metamorphoses. See if you can find yourself ritual on. Oh wait, what's going on? 
Oh, spell pierce on the surgical. Okay. You know, do what you have to do. There wasn't a spell pierce traded for it. Blunder. Oh, well. Yeah, it happens. Oh, that's, that's not good. I mean... Maybe not a blunder. Maybe not quite ideal. I moved it from hand to play. This was in second main. Um. Yeah. That's that's fun. Here goes nothing. Hey, I uh, it's a it's a bit of a giveaway, unfortunately. So there's spell pierce in the opponent's hand. We, we see that. We also see a surgical extraction also in the hand, ready to be fired off in response to a past in flames. So, oh, that's how we're doing this. That makes some sense. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. All right. All right. Yeah, the storm player knows how to, how to make this work. That's pretty cool. All right, so we have our storm count, our blue mana, and our red mana. And now it's time to see this go off on untap. Uh, unfortunately, no Electromancers and no Burals. So this is just going to be, you know, we're not playing Dark Ritual this time around. Red Dark Ritual. So in response to the Manamorphose, it appears Surgical is going on Ritual again. Uh, in response, I, I'm assuming we're, oh, we're, we're doing Ritual now. But say, I'm assuming that we're going to do, uh, Manamorphos, but not yet. We're, we're getting there. Not yet. Okay. Get the, the nest sound effect. Okay. Metamorphos in response, please. Oh. Okay. Nope, we're doing it now. This isn't a situation where that matters because the identity of the cards on top of the deck is not known, but you can use surgical to uh, to shuffle potentially your opponent's surgical to shuffle yourself it's not ideal but that is it that is a use out of it okay so we've made a bunch of mana we've made uh, red 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 and then we've converted that into uh, a manamorphos we've drawn our card there's pieces of the puzzle not quite when we need it to be um, having a storm card in hand already is pretty good pretty good all right, now there is a little bit of a catch here, so Pieces is going to go and get some cards, see what gets added to hand. Right now, in order to go off, oh, okay, okay. Hello, four for five there, that's okay. Two are going to hand. I mean, hmm, hmm. Actually, okay, so Grape Shot, and, 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 Gifts, okay, there we go, okay, making sure, <laughs> just making sure that's what we were up to, a uh, tiny bit of a problem you may, you may note here, uh, look at how much mana is left, we see three mana, we see two floating and we see one so we're not going to be able to do empty we're not going to be able to do any passive flame shenanigans yet but i don't think that's the point just yet because in a future turn oh wait that was untapped i'm dumb i didn't i only saw one untapped land somehow okay never mind we're going to make ourselves a handy little series of one ones with storm being at six and a uh, spell pierce not coming actually we see 12 yeah, could have made it 10, but we did not. We made it 12. 12 is fine. 12 is fine. Um, and then you get a chance to go off on the next turn. It can be a little bit risky. Theoretically, your opponent could draw into a thing in the ice and transform it, and the tokens don't play well with that, but that's not going to be a thing. Please no triple bolt <laughs> slash double bolt shot. That would break my heart, my hear, <laughs> my hearing. Okay, we do see at 10, uh, we do see Exile is at 10. Alright, and Shot is Gut Shot here, not Grape Shot. 
That would be that would be interesting. Sorry, but I had a set from last turn. Oh, is that a bolt? Is that a looting? That's an is it charm, that's right. All these altars. Okay. Well, we got another in the yard. Gee, I wonder if we're gonna be able to go off this turn and make another one. Spoiler alert, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Uh, at which point, we can see uh, pat land. Oh, that's steam vent, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's not one you want to see there. But theoretically, anyway, we could see past in flames. It only cost four. You can have two mana. I mean, two mana left over. Manamorphos as many times as you have Manamorphos. Rituals as many of those as you have, and then grape shot for win. One my first top eight. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. I, I see it. So they they have gotten there. I'm gonna root for the home team. Storm Crows for life. Spelling it like this for no reason. Storm Crow for life. Yup. <laughs> yep, that's a thing. So yeah, this is uh this is a handy little game of modern on untap. Oh, I'm so tired right now. Oh, and my day's not even done. But yeah, that was it. So take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.